when you're hooking up your high pressure arrow system the plumbing fittings and we do have a video of all the setup on that and just showing a little bit where all these plumbing fittings go now that's always subject to change everybody's going to have their own type of setup you're going to want to customize your own setup with some of the additional tubing that we provide so when you get to that point and we just have ours hooked up here with with one of our bulkheads and these are the arrow fittings so each one goes into a laboratory grade stopper and if you've seen any of our other videos or pictures these stoppers fit into the white lid that normally goes on top of this tray and in order to change out a fitting or to access your sprayer head all you have to do is just pop that stopper out of there you can also get in here and clean these fittings so if you have a stopped up nozzle you can get in here and clear it really easily and it doesn't require you to do anything but pull the plug out quick disconnect the fitting and those you just pull back on this little gray part here and pop the fittings out and all this stuff is rated to well over a hundred pounds per square inch so if you've got a 70 psi aero system we can accommodate that and when we turn these on you'll see that there's a lot of mist and it's a really fine really fine mist so this isn't like your easy clone sprayers this isn't like your general hydroponic system or any other system that uses laser lines laser lines are a joke look at the mist coming off of our system this is the finest mist of any aero system on the market it completely fills the tray now typically you would have 12 of these nozzles in position down inside your tray and every time that kicks on it floods your your roots with a nice mist and even though we're at high pressure here uh, somewhere around 50 psi if you put your hand in here it's not 50 psi coming out of that nozzle so it's not going to cut your roots it's been one of the problems with high pressure arrow is everybody's been worried about cutting their roots but our, our high pressure arrow is very gentle it's a nice mist completely coats anything that is growing down inside there your roots are going to love this it super oxygenates every time it sprays and we include a really fine filter on here that is able to block most of the particulates at least anything large enough to directly clog your nozzles but it's still going to require a little bit of maintenance in order to get this really fine mist you're probably going to want to clean them I don't know maybe even as often as once a week uh, but that's totally up to you and it depends what kind of nutrients you're using as far as how often they clog up if you're using something organic or really salty then you might get a little bit of premature buildup but it's also a good idea to have two sets of these you can always have one set cleaning and then you take the other set put it on the system and the set that you remove you just let them soak in either uh, either alcohol or you can soak them in a, a real light uh, bleach solution and then just make sure that you can see light through the hole in the end and make sure that they're all clear and then of course clear your filter every once in a while as well because that filter is going to get some accumulation anytime you have particles this small and a mist that can be this fine you're going to have a little bit of problem with filtration but we have several options when it comes to filtration so if single stage filtration isn't enough maybe you need a double stage filtration or even triple right now you have the filtration on your pump so that's going to keep larger items like a uh, dog hair or a uh, piece of fuzz from getting in there and the smaller things are going to go into that 100 mesh filter and keep everything clean <laughs>